Happening today, work gets underway to relieve traffic along the busy North I-25 corridor. CDOT will begin closing lanes from Johnstown to Fort Collins as they add an express lane in each direction. The expansion is needed to deal with the rapid growth we're seeing in the northern part of our Colorado. Yeah, because it really narrows down up there. Where Denver Sebs Nicole Brady's live this morning with some of the changes you can ex expect to see now and in the future. Now, well, right off the bat this week, we'll start to see some ramp closures here at I-25 and the 402 interchange, uh, some lane closures on the highway, mostly at night. But yeah, eventually they're going to be rebuilding 402 so it goes over the interstate. So right here where work is beginning today, this is one of the biggest parts of this project, but it is not the only piece of the massive $350 million effort uh, to widen I-25 and add these express lanes from Johnstown to Fort Collins. Some of the other projects that we'll see until 2021 include raising the bridge over the Poudre River, as well as building or widening several other bridges. And the part, guys, that I am the most excited to see, I'm just so interested in how this is going to happen. Crews are going to be building a bus station in the middle of the interstate, the middle of the interstate near Loveland. It's going to be a first for Colorado. You will walk on a, on a sidewalk underneath the southbound lanes of I-25, you'll go up the middle of I-25, and we're actually having the station in the center of I-25. Oh yeah, so uh, no clear date on when that work gets underway, but the idea is the buses won't have to stop and go across traffic anymore, so they won't uh, hold up traffic. And a trip on the bus staying from Fort Collins to Denver should be cut by as much as 15 minutes once this is all said and done. Now, all of this work is supposed to alleviate traffic on this very busy stretch of I-25. We know the express lanes are kind of controversial, uh, but they work. CDOT says hundreds of thousands of people use them, and they work. We're live near Johnstown this morning. Nicole Brady, Denver 7.